So, if you want to know what had led to the altercation that Unota ended up having with Sol Penduga at Starbucks um, last night, I think, or yesterday, um, I have the juice for you. So, a while back, when Som- when Solomzi was first announced to be joining Kaya FM with Dinero Ranaka on the... 959 breakfast show um i think musa hosted a space and nota was a speaker on that space and basically what he was saying was like he literally said so many vile things about about soul penduga he said that he was a sellout he said that he was a drunkard he said that meg g should never have trusted him he's warned meg g a lot of times about soul that soul just um you know, Saul is just there for the money and he's not trustworthy and he was exposing all these deals apparently that he had organized for them and like some work they had done together and apparently Saul had been um, untrustworthy with regards to that too. So it was just a lot of vile things that he had said about him and that was based on the assumption that Saul Penduga would be leaving um podcast and chill a show that um a podcast show that they have with Matt G. so i remember there was also um penuel had to come in that um space and basically just say that sol is not leaving but nota was just it's like you know when someone has been waiting for a chance to speak vile about someone for like so long and they finally get a chance so he was just going off and off and off and off about everything literally anything and everything that he could say about Sol Penduga so after that space Sol then also had to join that space and he said that like I'm not leaving podcast and chill I'm not leaving the podcast uh, so if anyone is going to speak, uh, please uh, bear that in mind. Um, so, yeah, peace. Thank you. Nota continued with saying whatever he wanted to say. So, from then on, when Sol Penduga came back on the podcast, like I think on the show they had after that space had been held, he basically saw that, you know, when Meg G was asking him about. Um, what happened and stuff like that so he swore that he was going to refer to nota as berita's ex-husband because it had news had broke that nota um was going through a divorce with his now estranged wife or berita so then from then on he had said that he is going to refer to him as berita's ex-husband um and so since then he had been referring to him as berita's ex-husband never referring to him as his name excuse me i guess he had thought that he was not worthy you know of being mentioned so since then i guess nota had wanted to confront him because um yeah i think a day ago then um nota um tweeted this bumped into Sol Penduga at Starbucks today. I told him to keep my wife's name out of his fucking mouth and he called security. Not only is he a sellout, he's pusillanimous too. Right. So then there was like a lot of people commenting and stuff like that saying, you know, whatever they wanted to say. But basically from, if you do want to see the video, I did upload the video separately from this one. But basically, I think he was just cloud chasing. Like he just, he was trying to instigate something with Sol Penduga, but he was just not into that. So he was just telling him that like, no, like you can't be cloud chasing here. You're old. We're not kids. What are you doing? And stuff like that. And I'm like, why would you record that? Why would you record an altercation with someone and act like it's i just i i have to say i really do not get a note but yeah this video was just to explain where the you know what had possibly led to the altercation that ended up having 
um so yeah a few tweets had something to say someone said i really think nota needs help like he's not okay mentally and then someone responded with saying a grown man instigating an altercation with another grown man to acquire footage that he only intends to use to giggle with his podcast buddies is such a shame if anyone who considers themselves a loved one of nota they are failing him by putting him in line or getting him help so i honestly agree with that person um yeah and then someone said big zulu was right about nota this one should be sent to one of those peter marx big hospitals of course with big zulu on his um this track had said and see you know tanklang you know something like that but yeah um share your views below what do you think about this why do you think nota we all know that he's like cloud chasing but honestly do you think do you think there's something wrong with him do you think he needs help like other people think or do you think we should just stop reporting on him or making him news because it does seem like all these things he does it's just to trend honestly but that is my personal opinion um yeah yeah someone said he's entertaining but what i don't like about nota is that if soul could have beat him up he would be running to the police and try to ruin soul's career like the b word he is um worst part that thing believes everything it says i'm not gonna read the other part but yeah share your views below what do you think about this whole situation and that is it for this video until next time